Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna look at the Chicago electric welding cart. This is the cheapest one that Harbor Freight sells. It's the 100 pound capacity. This is a sturdy form steel construction, two shelves. You can put a, looks like a gas tank on the back of it. It's tilted shelf for easier access to welding controls. The item number is 61316. This normally sells for $39.99 and I got it with a coupon on sale for about 26 bucks. So we'll see if this super cheap cart is a good design. I'm gonna get it opened up. All right, that's how it comes packaged, all together in one sealed up package. And get it out and get it assembled. I won't bore you with the assembly. All right, there it is, the completed Harbor Freight welding cart. This again is item number 61316. It's the Chicago Electric Welding Cart. Has a chain, two chains back there for a bottle. All solid rubber wheels in the back, caster wheels in the front. So now we'll go over the quality, fitment, and everything. So going together, not a problem. There was one hole that was a little tight to line up the very last bolt. And that could have been from me not having everything too loose. And that's when you assemble these type of carts or any type of metal, you want to have all the bolts loose. So other than that, it went together quick. 30 minutes and you're done. One 10 millimeter wrench is all it took. And a cheap one at that. So everything tightened down. It came with exactly the right amount of bolts. No extras. People were saying that the wheels up front were not greased. These ones were. Maybe Harbor Freight updated it. Um, overall quality, it's pretty good. It feels like decent, decent good metal. It's got a nice powder coat, gloss black finish to it. There is a couple spots, like right there, that it just maybe they missed it. And underneath where they welded the rear wheel. Up. Underneath on that tube down there is a little bit of rust. Nothing a little paint can't touch up. So, the, again, these are sold for $39.99. I got this one out the door for about $26. Bucks. So, uh, I happen to have the welder that's on the pitcher with this cart and a small bottle. So, I'm going to get it set up on there and then we'll talk about it. Just wanted to add some measurements in for reference in case you were looking. The tallest part of the tilt on the cart is 27 and a half inches roughly. I'll measure it from the bolt because that's where it'll hit on a welder. You got about 17 inches in length, in width, from bolt to bolt. And it's going to, I guess, matter how you put the bolts. It'll, you get a little bit, maybe an eighth of an inch or so more if you turn the bolts, quarter inch possibly. We're looking at about 10... 10 inches and a quarter. So 10 and a quarter inches wide by 17 in length. That's how big your top part is where you can put the welder. Just wanted to add that in for reference in case anybody was wondering. All right, we got the welder set up on top of the welding cart. Excuse the mess on the floor. Got a lot of things going on in the shop. But it sits up there pretty well, and as you can see, there's enough room on both sides. You can hang the power cord and the grounding lead and the gun on one side holds it fine. Holds my helmet down there pretty good. Everything's still accessible and like I said this is an older model. So still have full access to the mechanism and the weld wire to change it out. I may put a 2x4 back here just to keep from sliding. And then I've seen everybody complains about the bottle. Um, this is not necessarily a bottle for this welder because that's flux core. But as you can see, it'll hold a small bottle fine and probably a medium bottle. I think the misconception here is people are putting large welders on here and large bottles and expecting this to perform like a heavy-duty cart. It's not. This is good for some of your flux core welders maybe good for a small stick welder or a small mig welder uh, but any combination machine or multi-process machine it probably won't fit on here properly uh, and the only other thing i see with this is there's no handle 
or handles to push it around. So you gotta kinda drag it around by the handle. So that might be a modification I'm gonna do to this thing. But normally $39.99, like I said, I picked it up for 26 bucks. Can't beat it. Steal of a deal. Only time will tell exactly how long it stands up. But it rolls around fine right now. And I'll update you guys in the comment section as it goes along. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.